while back I was given this contraption. It's supposed to be a drill press. It has been uh, standing outside for a while, so I dragged it inside. And I thought it would be a good idea to wait a couple of weeks before I run some uh, electrons through it. And now it's, uh, well, time to do a little testing. But first, let's have a closer look at how this thing was put together. Someone spent a lot of time rigging this thing together. Probably done at a time when cheap Chinese drill presses weren't as available as today. This looks like the head from an old drill press. They rigged up some levers to select the gearing. There's another lever on the other side. I'd like to know where this uh, head came from. Here's the motor. It's an old one. It still has uh, bearings you need to lubricate. 0.6 horsepower motor and 1450 RPM. Looks like somebody made a shield for this. And there you have a very nice switch in a metal box. I think that wouldn't do by today's standards. I don't feel comfortable with <laughs> metal housings. It's pretty heavy but also pretty flexible. Okay, I'm going to remove the strap and uh, hook it up to the uh, power. Oh, -oh! It's running! Wow! I didn't expect that. I thought it would fry out because it was standing outside so long. Yeah. It seems to be in neutral. Starting to make some noises. belt is pretty loose. The motor is back on and I'm ready for some testing. I'm using uh, this uh, extension cord to switch it on and off. I removed the old Bakelite switch. Uh, I also lost this cover so I'm using this stick to work this switch because I've seen some sparks in there so I'm not gonna touch that with my hands. It's not really very safe this setup, I guess. Now it's time to drill a hole, I guess. I've installed a uh, old drill chuck. It takes a Morse uh, two arbor. It does have a bit uh, run out. Let's try and drill some wood. It uh, got so much run out that when the drill bed goes down, the whole machine starts to shake.
<laughs> well, this thing is pretty useless. And I'm gonna take it to the scrappers. I might save the motor because it's vintage. I kinda like it.